In the year 528, a man, a Buddhist monk, came from India to China in order to introduce the Buddhist faith. For the first years, he suffered greatly. He went first to Shaolin Temple, there to mortify his soul. After some years, he started to travel to spread the Buddhist gospel, but without much success because of the people's resistance to the new ideas. So then he went to the capital to see King Liang. He failed in this because of the Taoist influence, but he was not deterred because of his failure with the king. He turned around and went southward, and then he went to Lung City to see Chi Yun, a young doctor there, to convert him. This monk was one of the founders of Shaolin martial arts, known as Monk Tao Mo. this water is going to be killed. You hear me? <laughs> Go! Hey! Yen, forgive me. Well, you can go, but the water stays. Uh, well, uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> Governor Chen intended to sell it and make a big profit. Yes, that's right. What's he asking, then? Well, he said one cup, one piece of silver. How much? <laughs> well, come on. Just take what you need, then. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Which is the way to Lung City? Oh, Lung City. It's that way. Thanks a lot. You happen to know a young man named Shi Yun there? Mm -hmm. Hey! Listen, that's not the best way. Go that way. That way's three days shorter. Thank you. However, if you should happen to bump into Chi Yun, please tell him a monk's looking for him. Mrs. Chow. Yes? Take this medicine home. Oh, also, take this ginseng. Use it twice a day. It should give you more strength. Uh. 
Dr. Chi. Hmm? You see, I... I've no money. <laughs> Dr. Chi! Dr. Chi! <laughs> I've sprained my neck. Get the doctor. The doctor's busy now. You'll just have to wait. Just take a seat. <laughs> I can't! It hurts too much! Agony! Uh, Dr. G! Dr. G! What's wrong? What's this? Doctor, fix my neck, please! I'll pay what you want! Hey, listen. Mm -hmm. This is going to cost you a lot. Oh, no. I came here twice. Gave me drugs, but even so, cost ten cents. Hey, Doctor! Listen, I'll pay four tails. All right. Too little. Sorry. <laughs> Five tails. <laughs> no thanks. From somebody like you, I shall want 50 tails. What? 50 tails? If it's too much, get out. Yen Chi. Chi Hyun brought some water. Uh, that's good. Father needs it for the patients. Uh. Chi Fu. Chi Fu. <laughs> Master, Miss Yen. Take this in. Sure. Chi Hyun, hmm? when I was getting the water, I met this strange monk. Asked the way here. I fooled him. I put him on the road to Lee Village. Uh, now look. Shouldn't do that to monks. It's not nice. Hm. I don't see why not. After all, we don't need a monk here. They're just parasites. Son? Master. Well, no, he's just left the place. Has he gone? I've no idea. No. Welcome to the great Taoist priest. Hmm. Welcome. And we hope you'll enjoy your stay here. <laughs> Revered sir, this temple is the best in town. I hope it satisfies you. Hmm. Revered sir. Hmm. Good. It's good. In fact, just what I need. I mean, for my ceremonies here. Just right. I'm very pleased. Light in. Open the door. Sir. Well now, priest. We don't welcome you here. Chen you men. Sir. Seems some folks don't want me. So why did you invite me to come here? Well, uh, uh... The town's in a bad way. There's a drought. So then, if you do want to help the folks, don't waste the money on priests. Buy water for the people instead. Chen Jumin. Sir? Who is she? To talk so impolitely to me. Uh, now, Miss Yen, you don't know the facts. We invited the priest here to pray for rain. Well, so you say. Knowing you, you may be up to something. 
What's more, this praying for rain, it's all nonsense. Master, please let me give her a short lesson in manners. them all dead though, don't you? Yeah. But not like this, not in public. We have to wait, choose the right time. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry. She won't die, at least not until we're all quite ready. <laughs> What do you want? Miss Yan Chi, I'm so sorry that those priest's assistants should have injured Master Chi. A very great pity. And so I came here to apologize for them. Oh? The rich man, city chief, apologizes. Since when have you started apologizing then? What's wrong? Ah, Miss Yen, I'm sincere. I'm very sorry for what happened today. Are you? Well, know what I think. You must be planning something really bad. Miss Yen. I came to help the people here to pray for rain for them, which they need so badly. I only mean well, no other motive. But still, you would stand against me for no reason. <laughs> yes, I am opposing you. Don't want you here. Get out of town. You heard. Leave as soon as you can, and without your pay. No. I won't. Hm. I'm staying no matter what. You're a rogue. I just came here to help. That's all. Oh, yes? Well, we don't need you here. Nor your prayers. You understand? Hm. We'll see. But still, if my prayer shouldn't work, then I promise I shall leave right away. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Good. Very good. I hope your prayers work. We do need rain. Thank you, Doctor. We shall meet again. Goodbye.
Hey, so late. Now wait. What for? I bang once. It means all clear. I bang twice. Someone's here. Uh -huh. Then stop what you're doing. Huh? I bang three times. It means get out quick. Huh? Sure. Don't get it wrong. Uh, don't worry. I'm not stupid. You could fool me. Chifu, hmm? hear that yelling? Sure I did. And it sounds quite close. Chu, Su Ling. What's going on? Him. Why don't you run then? Run? Run where to? Well, run anywhere. If we could run. And we would have done. We wouldn't need you to tell us that. But, uh, bless you. <laughs> Revered, sir. If these two have offended you, well, then please forgive them. Let them go. So I should forgive them? That's right. Sorry. I won't. Not yet. That's a bit unreasonable. Is it? Well, that's my business. Buddhist, show some pity. Young man, you're asking? Just let them go. Sorry. Unless you will fight with me. If you win. I'll let them go. Right. Let's do that. <laughs> All right. Come on. Sorry. I'm not going to fight you. Oh? Why not? We've no quarrel. Why should I? <laughs> 
So you say. You're just afraid. You can't beat me. That's all. Listen. Don't push too hard. I'll fight all right, but not old men. Good. Good. Young man, I appreciate that thought. It shows you have a good heart. But still, though, this old man business, I can't accept that. Look, no matter what, I just won't fight you. Oh, and why not? Because I don't want the townspeople despising me for picking a fight with a stranger here. Good, good. <laughs> You're a well-intentioned young man. <laughs> I'm glad I came to visit you. Now, come on. We're destined to fight. So let's get it over with, shall we? Sorry. I can't accept that. Ah, don't worry. Simply a contest of skills. All right. Explain it. What do we do? Well, my special art of boxing contains 18 styles. So if you can beat just one of these styles, we'll say that you've won. Right. <laughs> Well, now, if you can't break any of the styles, then I am your master. A Taoist priest, and at the same time, a strange monk. Dad, I have the feeling that this town is in for serious trouble, but I don't know what. Mm -hmm. I have the same feeling. That strange Buddhist monk in particular worries me. It's very odd, but I feel he's come here, especially for me. Oh? Dad, I remember Yen Chi told me that she met some strange monk who was looking for me. What you think? Just as long as Chi Yun likes me. Uh, that young man, he spoils you far too much. He doesn't mind what you do. I'm sure you impose on him. And so what? What if I do? After all, he's a very trustworthy young boy. Isn't he? <laughs> 
And he's smarter than you. So then, you listen to him. No, he should listen to me. Hello. Oh, it's you. Just that I'd come by and see how you are. Fine, come and sit down. Thanks. Talking about you, before you came. <laughs> really? Can't say what we said. You'd be angry. Yenchi, you just stop that, all right? <laughs> Ma, just having a little joke with him. Right. Yenchi, hmm? you said a monk's looking for me. Yes. But still, he won't arrive for three days, even if he walks fast. No. He's here now. He's about 40, I think. Got a bald head and a fairly big beard. And he carries a stick. It's all right. Don't worry. I know how to get rid of that doctor. Well, I hope your plan works. That's all I can say. And that you do it soon. I will. And it's foolproof as well. I swear. What is it? Suicide. Buddha bless you. Better hide. Buddhist, you've got the wrong temple. You think so? Well, I don't think it's the wrong temple. Oh? You mean that you're looking for me? That's right. You've something I want. Something you must give me. What's that? That's simple. It's your heart. Huh? My heart? Hmm. It's almost disappeared now. I know that. But if you were willing, though, there's still some hope. If you will just tread the path of true repentance and return to God. Look, Buddhist. You blind. Do you know what this place is? Who you're talking to? Who my master is? Buddha bless you. I simply want to save your souls from going to hell. Ha! Buddha bless you. Return to God and you'll be saved. Ha! Buddha bless you. Good and evil. Each is repaid. Buddha bless you.
Listen. Hmm? Oh. Why do you only practice six styles? He told me that there were 18 styles. I know, but I can only remember these six. The others, I forget. They're just gone. Well, the ones you do remember, will they be enough? Mr. Chi, tell me now, have you devised a way yet? Hey, Buddhist, I sent you to leave village. So how come you're here so soon? Buddha bless you. Heaven plans all things. But your joke was unfortunate for the people of this town. Because quite soon, they'll all suffer very great misery and tragedy. Tragedy? Well, tell me, what do you mean? Buddha bless you. Sorry, I can't tell you. Huh. All nonsense. ji come on, let's go. Young man, if you can't break even one of the styles, then you'll be my pupil, as you promised me. Ah? Uh? What? You want ji to be your pupil? That's right. He won't. ji will never become a monk and be your pupil. ji tell him you won't leave me for him. Go on, tell him you won't go with him, that right? Well, isn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, Buddhist, do you hear that then? He'll stay here, and he won't ever be your pupil. It's not the time. Mr. Chi, one day you'll change your mind. And I can wait. There's no real hurry. You're wrong. He won't go. He's going to stay here. Buddha bless you. The play! The play! The play! Can you help? Can you save them? Dr. Chi, I beg you, please save him. All the family depends on him. We can't live without him. Dr. Chi, I beg you, please save yes, him. Yes, yes. <laughs> Dr. Chi, save him, please. Please save my master. Dr. Chi, Dr. Chi, please save him. Doctor, Doctor. Please, Doctor. what do we do? Dad. Get some of the true fire pills. Make all the patients take one. <laughs> I know. We'll soon be dead. Come on. Take it. Here. Take a drink.
Dad. We did our best. Doctor! Chi Yun! My mom! She's sick! What? You're sure? She's got the plague? Dr. Chi, please, help her. Chifu. Chifu. Master. Are you all right? I, I'm all right. Master, how are you? Uh, not too bad. But the people are right. It was my fault. My fault. Doctor. Oh. Dr. Chi, thank you. Thank you for saving my dear wife. Dr. Chi, you're a wonderful doctor. Ma, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to die. It's all right. Dr. Chi will soon have you well. Get up. Thank you, doctor. Get up. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Chi. Please, you get thank up. You thank, you, thank, you, thank you, Dr. Chi. You're a wonderful doctor. Thank you, Dr. Chi. Thank you. You were right. You said that he'd kill himself, and he has done. Of course. I told you that my plan was foolproof, didn't I? Yes, you did. And I promise that I'll show you how grateful that I am. Jiyun. I was wrong about your father. Thanks. Nice of you to say so. Listen, let's leave here. Pack our things and let's go south. Forget everything here. Start a new life elsewhere, all right? No, I can't do that. Why not? I mean, is this town really worth all that much? My father's death was caused by someone. I'm sure of it. Dad, give me your blessing to find out what happened, to expose those behind it, and when I've done that, to avenge your death. But could you do it with your level of Kung Fu?
I know it's not that good. But still, at least I must try. There's no point in throwing your life away. Well, I will have tried. And that's enough. No. Listen. The first thing is to analyze the whole situation. Now take that month for one example. Is he good or bad? Is he involved in this? And that Taoist? Just what is his part in all this? Can he fight well? How good are his men? We must find out. You see, we must take these people one by one. And then, eliminate them. Ascertain their guilt, one way or the other. It's all we can do. At least in this way, we may discover the truth. Be careful there. Eh? Make sure she's not hurt. Right. Master in? Huh? Master Chen, what is it? What's oh, wrong? Oh, God, it's awful. My dear wife, she's just been abducted. Who did it? I was fast asleep. Didn't see a thing. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get her back for you. <laughs> Where's your master? He's busy meditating. Oh, that's very <laughs> Drink up. Thank you. Thank you. That's very <laughs> Drink up, everybody. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Have some more. Have some more to eat. Yes, have some more. Very good. Here, have some. Now, come on. What are you crying for? The Taoist? He's trying to save our souls. We ought to be very grateful to him. Thank you. And all do our best to keep him happy. More. Buddha bless you. What's going on? What is it? What's going on? Uh, it's our wife. Someone took him away last night. Please help us. Please help us. All right, all right, all right. You go back home. And I'll go tell the master. And I'm sure he'll get your women back now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Come in. Reverend, sir. Lai Tin wants to see you. Huh? Yeah. Lai Tin. Well, didn't he have orders? Oh, sure he did. After he poisoned the water, he was supposed to leave town and never come back here again. Then why is he still here? He says he's got no money left. That's why. Master, he lies. I gave him a hundred pieces. Oh? Well, did he say how much more he wants then? A thousand. Master, he's blackmailing us. Well, give it to him. Tell him to go. Sir. Lasso. Sir. Kill them all? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yen Chi, a promise is a promise. I'm staying. I won't go. Right. Then you will stay, because you'll die. But uh, bless you. Chi Yun's destined to be my pupil. And as soon as I've convinced him of that unchangeable fact, then I shall leave this town. I'll show you. He's never going to be your pupil. Bless you. I never change my decisions. Not for anybody. I can beat you. I know I can. I'll show you. Just wait and see. <laughs> Miss Yen Chi, I must go back. I have important things to do. I think you better come back with me. <laughs> well then, this is a good place. No point in going further. Right. Well, let's kill him. Then. Hold it! Go and tell your master. These evil deeds, they have to stop. There must be no more. Or else, he'll be punished. You save me. I think you have many things you wish to tell me. Yes, uh, that Taoist, he, he made me poison the well. He, he paid me. Lai Jin, just how could you do a terrible thing like that? Uh, uh, I... <coughs> <coughs> you do it? Sorry. I should die. I should. Sure you should. But what will that do for all those poor folks who are in their coffins now? We know the truth, so let's go. It's time that we avenged our parents. We'll kill those swine. Good. Let's do that. Right. Mr. Chi. 
I think you ought to consider this first. Your standard of Kung Fu is not good enough to beat him. In fact, I know he'd beat you. Patience. Bide your time. ji come on, let's go. Hey, come on, let's go. Even if I have to die, I'm going to fight. fight. <laughs> and you'll die. I promise you that. sort of god or saint, always interfering in my personal affairs here. Buddha bless you. Oh no, no god or saint. I am simply Buddhist, Tamo. Buddhist, Tamo. Buddhist, Tamo. I want that you should change your ways and become a Buddhist too. <laughs> you stupid monk. You dare come here and suggest that to me? <laughs> I must leave you now. <laughs> Hurry. Try and find out where he's living. Right. Sir. Don't know. It only needs some faith. Oh yeah? We got faith. Tao's faith. I'll do it.
I greet you, Master. Didn't you go to Long City? Yes. But now, I've run into trouble. Oh? With your skill, I didn't think anyone there could trouble you. But still, there's one man there I can't beat. Who is this man? Tell me. A Buddhist monk, a stranger. A Buddhist monk? Yes. All right. I'll teach you a new technique to deal with him. And when I've mastered the Tai Ying palm style, I shall join you there. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, you've done well. I've checked your pulses, and they're all right. Your Kung Fu's excellent. It's very much improved. Buddhist, why'd you save me? I would save anyone. You see, that's my faith. But you've given your own strength to help my Kung Fu. Why, though? <laughs> Because, you see, one day you'll be my pupil. You'll be disappointed. I don't want to be a monk. I know that I don't. Oh? Well, there's lots of time. You'll change your mind. I know that. But now we must ensure that you are fit again. Concentrate your attention. Three days. No more meditation. Where's Yan Chi? Do you know? Hey, listen. You think the monk will try to save the girl? I just don't know. Maybe he will come. No. I don't think he'll dare. Where's your master? He's worshipping at the shrine. How long will he be then? To know. Oh, God. What are we going to do then? What is it? Rivet, sir. <laughs> Rivet, sir. It's trouble. Trouble, master. Big trouble. Explain yourself. It, it, it's her. What's with her? That strange monk. He came and told me that before the dawn, tomorrow morning, he'd come and save her. Oh? That's good. We'll be waiting then. Don't worry. Everything has been worked out. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'll go back home then. Master, 
That's a strange wind. It's a Buddhist monk. It must be. The monk. Uh, hey, look! to talk with you. What is it? It has to do with Master Chi. Well, you should talk with him then. No, I'll talk to you. I don't see any point in talking. A man's business can only be decided by him. But still, you've been influencing him. Right now, he does what you tell him. Oh, no. He does what he thinks is right. He still makes up his own mind. I won't argue about that. But I still want to talk. Right. We'll talk. Buddhist, now you hear this. Chi Yun is my man. You can't take him away. Chi Yun is a man. If he wants to stay, how could I take him? But still, you can steal his spirit. Buddha bless you. If I did that, then I'd be no better than a common thief in that case. Hmm. You're much worse than a thief. Ten times worse. Hundred times. Thousand times. Oh? You hate me so? Hate you? Hate you? What I'd like is to kill you. Well, then why don't you? Don't you think I dare? Well, now, let's say I don't think you have sufficient courage. Right. I'm going to show you how wrong you can be. Dad, I've now mastered the Tamo techniques. So I can avenge you. After that, I shall enter the Shaolin Temple and become a monk there. Ji Hun. Ji Hun. Huh? That Buddhist is dead. So forget about being a monk. Dead? He can't be. Come with me, and I'll show you. The time has come for Chi Yun to fight the evil ones. When he has done that, he will have repaid his debt to Yen Chi. <laughs>
<laughs> now then, it's time that you called me teacher. Teacher. Great priest. Well, where are the women? Gone. They went through there. What? That Buddhist monk, he came and took them. Huh? Him again. <laughs> Time now that I finish that man. Who? 
You lived here once, you bastard, you. And the people wanted to kill you. And if my father hadn't stopped them, they'd have done it. <laughs> That's right. Your father was an old fool. Well, I'm back. And I'm going to make the whole town pay. You've done enough harm. Now you're going to pay. Because I shall kill you. <laughs> Yanchi, it's Sartan Hu. So it's you. <laughs> Surprised, eh? Sartin who? Finally came back home, eh? My God, you've got a nerve. <laughs> well, I never forgot the way this town humiliated me. And now I'll make it pay. So that's why you're back, to get revenge. And you poisoned all those people for that reason. <laughs> Yenchi, no more talking.
Buddha bless you. Teacher Tin Chu, I've waited a long time for you. <laughs> monk, you hurt my disciple. Mm. And for that, you know, you must pay now. He is an evil man. Mm? Yes. Yes. He is an evil man. <laughs>
Change your ways and come to God. And so, Ji Yun became a great Buddhist monk, known far and wide for his great fighting skills and for his firm and his devotion to God. And that is the ultimate goal, to be free from desire and serve man and God without passion and without hate. 